You know, the number of days between your periods will tell you exactly what's wrong with your hormones. Here's a quick guide. If the time between your periods is less than 21 days, this usually points to low progesterone. So when you have less progesterone, it drops early. So bleedings will start sooner. That's why you have the short cycles. If you're between 28 to 32 days, this is normal. I mean, if you do have predictable cycles, every month you have maybe mild PMS and there'll be signs of ovulation like clear white discharge. So look out for that. More than 35 days is basically you're, you're late or there's missed ovulation. This could be because of PCOS, underactive thyroid or even high prolactin levels because this can pause or delay your ovulation and basically give you an ovulatory cycles. Now, if you're above 35, then this can also point towards perimenopause. If you've gone three months without a period, it means that your ovulation is totally off and this could also be because of PCOS, which probably already know. But what often gets missed is Hashimoto's. So please check your entire thyroid panel. Like I mentioned right here, this has antibodies as well. Now, if you're not getting a period, it could also be hypothalamic amenorrhea, which could happen if you're chronically dieting, you've been on low fat diets, or you're exercising too much and have a lot of high stress. Now, if you're above 35 and your FSH is above 20 multiple times, this could mean late stages of perimenopause. You can comment below about your period length and also the symptoms and I'd love to help.